Hey man, J.D. Bo here reminding you that the next Man Up Live is Saturday, July 20th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. But why should you come? Well, according to the research, human beings were made for connection. And if we don't connect, it could literally make us sick. Hey man, you were never designed to go alone. I know you're strong. I believe it. But you were never designed to do this thing by yourself. So come out and connect with a few good men. Saturday, July 20th at the New Life Community Center in Decatur. Looking forward to meeting you. All the info is on our website, mypraiseatl.com. Man up now, man up. What's up, family? I am KD Bo. Thank you for being a part of uh, what I got going on. I got a lot going on, but uh, it is a pleasure to be able to talk to you and encourage you. The goal is to do it weekly. I've been slacking. I'm going to do better, though, okay? So real quick, before I get into what I want to talk about today, do me a favor and subscribe to the page, okay? Like this video, please. And maybe if if I'm talking about somebody that you know, hey, they need to hear this, share it with them, okay? Today, I want to talk about the power of no. The power of no, okay? Everybody likes a yes person, all right? I mean, not yes person, all right? But everybody likes a yes. And if we can be honest, if we were to ask somebody for something, we are gonna be a little thrown off if they say no. Nobody wants to hear a no, but the truth is there's a lot of power in no. The first power is that no helps you focus, okay? We talk about the multitasker and they get a whole lot of love. But the truth is, according to research, the multitasker's end product or end result is mediocre and sometimes it's subpar. The only way to have a great end result is to focus on one thing at one time, put your energy there and do that. So what does that look like? That looks like if you're with your kids, your wife, then you don't have a phone call, you don't do emails, texting, Candy Crush, Fortnite, or whatever your thing is, leave it alone. Focus, be present in the moment. Another one is, you know, hey, if you're gonna really focus, if I decided that today is the day that I'm gonna work on building my business, Aunt Mildred's sofa that they want you to move because you got a truck? Thank you. But no, there's nothing wrong with saying no. You can say no in love just like you say yes in love. But in order for you to focus, you have to make sure that you say no to those things that keep you out of focus. The second thing is this. No gives you more respect. Now, I get it. That can be a little dark, but I don't mean it from the dark way. I can only give you examples. My father... It was hard to get a yes out of him. You had to qualify for his yes. His yes wasn't low-hanging fruit. So whenever I asked him something, hey, is, is this good? Or was, what would you think about this? Most of the time it was like, eh, you know. But every now and then he would say, yeah, that was good. I respected it a whole lot more than from my mom, who it was always, oh, baby, that was amazing. Even though it wasn't amazing. You know, so you respect it. Simon Cowell, we talk about him, but you know, he's a bit of a jerk, I get it. But when he says yes, when he says you're going on, it's a whole lot more respected. When you have the woman that's doing the dating, I hate to go here, but it's the truth. The yes will get her a whole lot of likes, but the no will get her respect and maybe even a ring. So you gotta be able to define the parameters of your no. Because if you're always the person that says yes, 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 unfortunately, unfortunately, our human nature does not fully respect what comes easy. Now, I'm not saying just say no to be a jerk, but you gotta be able to, ha to know how to say uh, no and get that respect. And then finally, no makes you more effective, all right? You gotta say no to all those things that make you spread out, make you all over the place. Hey, why didn't you do what you were supposed to do? Well, I had this, I had this, I had this, I had this. All right, you gotta focus in. If I were to hit a person with my hand spread out like this, they'll feel it. But if I did it like this, which one do you think would be more effective? Hmm? Think about it. All those things that make you spread out, like if you have four things that you do, you give 25% to each one, which one are you giving 100% to? Not rocket science, think about it. Think about the sun. The sun is big enough to heat the whole world. But when it doesn't set the whole world on fire, when you bring that sun down into a little small circle through a magnifying glass on a frog, that's terrible, I shouldn't say that. Sorry, Peter. S, humane society. Like you wanna burn some grass. 
put it through a magnifying glass, the focus causes it to be so effective that it will literally set whatever it's focused on on fire. And I'm saying to you that if you want to be effective, if you want to be focused, if you want to have the respect that you need, you got to learn how to be okay with saying no. Oh man, I don't like him. That's okay. Sometimes respect, respect doesn't always follow like, but like can follow respect. Don't worry about being liked. Worry about being respected. And if you're great at what you do, if you're focused enough on what you do, and you're like a beast in your field, you'll get the respect because you have the focus and you have the effectiveness, and then you'll get the likes on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or whatever. But make sure that you know the boundaries of your no. A lot of us know the boundaries of our yes. Define the boundaries of your no, and that's how you really get effective. Bam, I gotta drop something. Bam! I said that. Stop laughing. All right, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, and all that. I'm out. Man up. Hey, man, KD Bo here reminding you that the next Man Up Live is Saturday, July 20th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. But why should you come? Well, according to the research, human beings were made for connection. And if we don't connect, it could literally make us sick. Hey, man, you were never designed to go alone. I know you're strong. I believe it. But you were never designed to do this thing by yourself. So come out and connect with a few good men. Saturday, July 20th at the New Life Community Center in Decatur. Looking forward to meeting you. All the info is on our website, mypraiseatl.com.